Hey guys, what's going on? Today I will be showing you all how to download, install, and update Bucket and Spigot plugins onto your Minecraft server. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to log into your Multicraft panel. Then you're going to click on servers. From there, you're going to select your server, or if you only have one, it'll take you to that server. Next, you're going to click files. Then you're going to access your FTP through Multicraft. Just log in there. Now you're going to go into the plugins folder. If you have never added any plugins before, this will probably be empty, so there's nothing to worry about. Next up, we can go ahead and download the plugins that we want to add or update. So we have Vault here. Vault is a really popular economy plugin, and we're just going to click on keep here. And we do have an update for Essentials X, one of the most popular Minecraft plugins of all time. And we are using a development build. These are generally updated more frequently than these stable releases, but could have bugs and other issues. Now we're going to go return to our Multicraft plugins folder and here we have all of our plugins listed out here and we have world edit game boy g -Sid essentials x core protect we're going to go click on upload choose file we're going to go ahead and take essentials x and we're going to go ahead and click on vault and we're going to click submit all right as y'all can see both of these files were added in successfully now we can go back and as you guys can see, we have a new Essentials X jar and we have an old one. So if you have duplicate files and one's older, you can just go ahead and delete it. This is our first time adding Vault, so we don't really need to do anything. From here, these plugins are actually not loaded on the server yet. There's a difference between adding them into the folder and loading them in. What I'd recommend for most people is just to simply restart your server. If you already have that plugin loaded on your server, you could reload the plugin itself, or you could use a plugin like Plugman to bring it in, but restarting is generally the safest option overall. All right, I've opened up my Minecraft just to show you guys that everything went smoothly. So here we're going to log into our server here. And as you guys can see, we do have an outdated G set, so I probably should have updated that on video. But as you guys can now see, we have Vault, Essentials, etc. all loaded in successfully. The server recognizes it. So if you ever want to see if they updated or got added improperly, just run the command slash PL or slash plugins on your Spigot server. So yeah, guys. In short, that is my tutorial on how to download, update, and install Spigot and Bucket plugins for your multi-craft panel server. Thanks for watching everybody, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. Today's video is brought to you by the Sangota Marketplace, a great website for server owners to get high quality premium Minecraft plugins for their server. Sangoda promotes fair business practices and is constantly improving their website based off of user feedback.